Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Not sure when this is gonna go up, but uh, probably past the date that it's gonna happen. But happy Madre's Day! It's mother for you in English. To all y'all moms, thanks for all you do for us. Appreciate your kind and appreciative lovin's. So we're gonna start back with Tall Trunk Galaxy. The Tall Trunk's big slide. Now last time, we met up with Luigi and he informed us that he would be willing, so graciously, to help us find stars. And as such, here he is. Hey. So let's go ahead and uh, yeah, let's let Luigi have a shot. Yeah. Things are a little different with Luigi, not terribly different. So don't get too concerned about it. He can jump a little higher and his controls are a little more nimbly bimbly. I know that that doesn't really mean anything to anybody, but that's okay, because that's how I live my life. If any of you have ever played Mario 2 or the lost levels of Mario, you'll notice that Luigi's control scheme is a little different and that's okay. We still love him just the same. Let's not judge him. So we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, the tall trunk slide here. We watch slide. You bet you do. And they want us to have confidence. So we need to take the slide. And we'll have the slide music from Mario 64, which is wonderful. And if you don't like that, well, you have bad taste in music. Fact. We need to avoid all the obstacles here and keep our eyes open. We can kind of swerve around using basically just the nunchuck. You can collect star bits too along the way if you're- oops, okay. That's too bad. There are times when I play this and like, my pointer is just not- it's just- I can't- I just can't get it up. And it causes me some trouble, but that's fine. Oops. It's kind of- it's, it's a little bit of a split brain kind of oper operation here where you have to- be mindful of gathering stuff with one side of your brain, but then you also have to try- I mean, it's probably the same side of your brain, I don't know how neurology works, but you're gonna want to gather star bits while also not running into spinies. Being mindful of the gaps. Mind the gap. Making sure you're on the right side of the tunnels if you want to acquire certain collectibles. And then also being ready to jump, being ready to hip hop. These are some very angry, 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 very angry wigglers. Yeah, it's kind of oops. <laughs> okay, so this is going swimmingly. Hopefully, this experience going through these tunnels isn't boring. All right. So, <laughs> okay. That was a complete accident. I'm just trying to show you what not to do. If you do a Luma jump too soon. Okay, and then you get to see, you get to see Luigi's kind of specialty triple jump. Let's hone in here. Let's really focus in on what we're trying to do. Things are getting a little prickly and you know, we're better than that. We're better than that. So yeah, you just gotta kind of be mindful of the fact that the game is going to try to throw some twists and turns your way, and you can stay on the right track, just got to focus on what you're trying to do. That's one of the most important parts. Oops, that's probably too soon. Nope, okay. Very good. Yeah. Taking your time is of the utmost importance for an experience like this. Trying to dodge all the incoming traffic and things that are going your way. Oops, that's gonna probably kill me. Nope. Oh, saved it at the last second. Isn't that beautiful? That was epic. Epic. All right, so now we have a bit of a gauntlet to go through. Oops, okay. Okay. <laughs> Not my best. Now, if you think this is tough, you just wait until the Comet Metal variety pops in. Oh boy. I already know in advance that's a thing, and I am dreading it. 
with every fiber of my being. It is as difficult as you'd imagine it to be. And the variety of Comet Metal that they chose for this one, if we remember from the last game, involves a lot of collecting a certain round something. Oh boy. So if you're into that, which I am not, well, that's too bad. Well, I mean, if you're into it, it's great. But if you're not into it, like me, well, then that's too bad. There we go. That's how we identify qualifiers to statements. We figured it out. Guys, we're doing it. And sometimes you just got to use your Luma shake to preserve your momentum. I mean, this is kind of a cool level, all things considered. Kind of tests your uh, ability to follow through with these... Oh, no. Oh, no, poo. Ugh. Guys, we were so close. Let's see if fifth time is the charm. And the, the downside is that there's no checkpoint, so you gotta really figure this out. You don't have much of a, okay. There's no, there's no halfway flag, so it is what it is. And you just gotta keep at it until you get it. Thankfully, it's not too punishing. And the game does provide you with a very nice one-up mushroom. I mean, honestly, that's probably one of my favorite parts of this level because like in our certain circumstances, like, if we don't grab that one up, like things could get kind of dicey and you know, and here's another one just in case you need it. I'm not going to grab this one, but you know, I'm not trying to get greedy. That's kind of my big thing. I don't want that, but there's opportunities for star bit balloons. If you're into that lives, if you're in need, like we could have been, but thankfully we were able to kind of solve things. But the big thing here is making sure you're kind of right side up. That's the trickiest part. Oh boy, that felt unfair. That, that was not cool. Okay, six time charm. This will probably be my last legitimate on-screen attempt if we can't figure this one out. But I bet we can. Oops, starting off on a good note. I think it's weird that when you get hit by the spinies, unless they're poisonous, or I guess like venomous, because I think poison is like when you eat something and then it makes you feel ill. I don't think, I think venomous is when you come into contact with something. Or maybe it's poisonous, I don't know. One of the two. Luigi turns purple, which I think is interesting. Doesn't seem quite correct, but who am I to say? I'm not a biologist, so you'll have to probably take someone else's word for it because mine as epic as it is, probably not the most scientifically sound, and I don't want to get anybody into any trouble. Yeah, see? He turns purple, which I think is very strange. Not sure exactly what that means, but okay. So let's see if we can do it this time. We are very close last time. Oops, okay. Okay, there's some coins at the end to bail you out. And that looks like success. Okay. A very, not a very graceful ending, but Where's the start? Oh, we have to talk to these guys? Huh? Maybe? Okay. And finally, Pyramid Head. From the Silent Hill? Resident Evil? One of those two series. I'm gonna say Silent Hill, but I could be wrong. All right, Luigi, go ahead and grab your first star, buddy. Well done. Mario's probably green with envy now. Pretty gosh dang wholesome. Okay. As always, we love collecting stars. This is a ghost has appeared. What does that mean? A ghost has appeared in Tall Trunk Galaxy. Ooh. It looks like we have. Oh, that's Cloudy Core. That's not even the same thing. That's our first comet, though. Prankster Comet has been spotted. And turned a galaxy into a wildly different place. So, yes, that's how you do it. As you traverse different galaxies, collecting comet metals. Oh, his name's Whittle, like Whittling. Oh my gosh. I love that. I don't love the fact that Lubba was the one who told us about it, but. Okay, so Luigi's just telling you in advance that if you want his help, 
He's always happy to give it to you. And I mean, it's kind of fun. If you want to give yourself a little bit more of a, a challenge or just a different experience. Okay, so that was stupid. As per usual, thanks Lubba for wasting our time. Time theft. Lubba should be under arrest right now, to be honest. Under arrest by the capitalism police. So we have basically everything done in Tall Trunk. We're gonna go and conquer another Cloudy Court Galaxy mission. We're gonna hold off on the comet for now unless it makes us. We might have to just do it. Looks like there's a hidden star, head in the clouds. You know what, we'll do, because it's presented to us, we'll do the shadow lining. This is the first prankster comet. I'm imagining that this one is probably Cosmic Mario based, if I had to guess, according to the name. And probably has some disappearing platforms, maybe? Okay. So I don't see Cosmic Mario yet. There he is. Right on cue. So if you remember, Cosmic Mario will mimic our movements as we traverse the various platforms and stages. Okay, oops. Oops, where is the, how do we get that one to pop up? Okay, this is great. Oh, there it is. I walked right past it. Oops. But thankfully, they explode into candy. Which is like I've said many times before, a much preferable way to confronting your enemies. If all of our people and lives in our life that we disagreed with would just explode into something edible and delicious. Think about how much better the world would be, you know? It's kind of a no-brainer. But, you know, I'm not in charge of deciding that. Oops, okay, 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 great. The only thing that is kind of a bit of a bummer here is that the, and that's a sling star, by the way, I call it a pull star, a sling star, a few episodes ago when I was very wrong. Sling star, the little ones, these. Pull stars are the blue ones, as you would have guessed. And that seems to be the end of the level? Okay, well, not too bad, but you also have to be careful because the cosmic clones will still try to go after you. Very aggressively, in fact. Will we survive with one HPs? That's a quick start. That only took three minutes? Not bad. Or maybe even less than that. That makes up for the tall trunk slide debacle. That was quite the slippery slope. Oh, we've got another star. We're at 30 now. It's amazing. And we unlock the Prankster Comet from the Yoshi Star Galaxy. Shall we do it? There's Lubba trying to patronize us, as per usual. So what's nice is in this game, to go back to other galaxies, especially ones you've already done, it's as simple as that. Zooming out, you click on it, boom, you're in. You don't have to go to different domes and try to do all that nonsense shenaniganery. You just go right for it. So here's another prankster, a second for star three of the day, the spiny rainbow romp. Now, the only thing this game does poorly is it's not really clear on what type of a prankster comet it's going to be, at least not early on. Galaxy One was very clear if it's gonna be a time-based one, if it's going to be a, you can only take one damage one, I think we have to kill, oh, pfft. that's a good start. I think we have to kill all the spinies. I believe that's kind of the MO of the day. There's a lot of star bits at play here. What do you say? But right now I'm just trying to focus on the mission at hand. We're given not a ton of time. I don't even know if there's ways to increase the time limit, but you have to go quick. Getting stuck in the poo poo is uh, a quick way to really inhibit your ability to succeed here. So, and thankfully though, the spinies are relatively close. You gotta be careful, especially right there. You might fall off the edge. Kind of impressed that I didn't. And shocked also. So, there you go. A ton of sturbits. We are running out of time here. Oops, excuse me. No, come back, no stop, please. Oh no, we're doing this one again. <laughs> this is not a one and done. Oops, and it just immediately murders you. So, there you go. Get them all. You gotta catch them all. Alright, so back at it. We're gonna 
be more vigilant this time around and escape the poo patch. The early poo patch is a good, it's a good run ender. So you gotta be on your game here. This is kind of a prickly mission, but I believe in all of you. You gotta go back and grab the power up if you run short, unfortunately. And you can wiggle your Wiimote around all crazy willy-nilly if you're into that. That really helped. Also, it's just awesome getting to hear the kind of Mario wing cat music as you engage on this mission. Oof. Yeah, that still scares me every time. All right, 10 seconds. This feels like it's not the time, but I might just be doing it really poorly. Yeah, we're not. All right, this is taking at least three tries. Ooh, I do like that, the qualifier of at least. That's for my own safety, just in case. Okay, here we go. So thankfully, the game gives you as many tries to get lives, and we got a couple of those. This doesn't feel like Mario really runs as quickly as you'd like him to. So we'll try to prioritize maybe it's a matter of where you go and how you get them. And I think not getting access to the power up right away can cause a bit of an issue. There's probably a, like a good game plan to do this. I don't really have one. I'm just kind of doing it based on what I see. Oh, come on. I think getting stuck in the, the level geometry is kind of a good way to screw this up. But we are pretty close. I feel like we've gotten close every time, to be honest. I don't know how many there really are in this level. Is this the last one? No. Oh, it is. Okay, so we did. We did it. We did do it. That's how I said. We we did did it, guys. All right. So that's a job well done. Okay. So that's three stars down. Pretty light episode so far. It's a galaxy complete for the spiny rainbow romp. And I think that this is when the game, I don't know what triggers this, but the game just starts to throw prankster comments at you, left and right. They're trying to really drill down into getting these done. I don't know where Spindig is. Okay, so Spindig is right up the road here. We'll take on that Prankster Comet, and then we'll call this episode a day. This might be a shorter one. Kind of surprised we're able to do it so quickly. Where is that epic, I suppose? <laughs> so this is Diggaleg's Daredevil Run, if you can guess what this means. It's the same as last time. Mario Galaxy 1 and Daredevil Run is 1 HP. You got one shot at it, but thankfully they threw you right into the fight, which is really nice. But, uh, yeah, you basically have to repeat the fight, but you can't take damages. So you gotta be careful here. If you take any da- <laughs> Okay, so that's just the tutorial on what not to do. Don't let the yellow weird drill things hit you. Because you'll die. Let them come to you. Alright. So first things first, once dig a leg shows his soft underbelly to you you're gonna want to get out of the way I don't really know what order it is that he he shoots the the dudes at you with just the tip here but it seems like they always come in one oh boy like they always come in one direction kind of gives me boy band vibes for some reason I'm not exactly sure why but you know it is what it is I don't know if... I think they all base... Oops. Okay, that was awesome. Wasn't it? I'm not trying to pad this episode out, but... Dig a Leg is doing a good job of doing it for me. Now, usually the episodes are... Uh, they come in around the... 30-ish minute mark. This one might not, because... Well, as you can see... I'm not feeling like much of a daredevil. I'm feeling more like a... 
Oh my gosh. That's dumb. That hitbox for those feet is Giganosaurus. Whew. Take a deep breath, everybody. It's fine. If I did everything on my first try, then you wouldn't be watching a Let's Play channel. You'd be watching a speedrun, so... If you don't like that, well, then you can just get out. We're not on Twitch.tv yet. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Show me your belly. Show me your... Your beautiful belly. Come on. Stop hopping around. I don't have time for this. Oops. Yeah, so you just gotta watch the way the drills are going. Oh, I had him! I had him! There we go. We gotta get back down there. <gasps> he's gonna get all... He's gonna get all mad. I can say hopping mad here because it has feet, so... Yeah, I'm just trying to be careful. Usually he'll send one one way and one the other way. Ooh, he crushed his own... He crushed his boy! That's rude. You just squished your boy! Alright, and usually they'll send the one the other direction. Okay, that's fair. Nope. Oh no. This is not what it's all cracked up to be. All right, rule of thirds. Boom, bloop his bottom, just like I do after a spicy meal. Okay, guys. That's two prankster, prankster, prankster comets in one day? Um, on <laughs> And we'll drill to it. And I thought we were screwed for a little while. Okay. So that's 32 stars. We're about a fourth-ish of the way done with the main campaign. <gasps> what did that mean? Is there more than 120 stars? Is there more? Is there more than 120 stars? D-Mike says, is there more? We need grammar for dummies. So let's go ahead and deposit the Sturbits that we grabbed from our four stars today, not great, unfortunately. It was about 60-ish Starbits per level, and you are going to want to have more of that, but that's okay. But that's all we've got for today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D-Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you next time. Bye.